Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Andrea of Voyant Essentials. I have to get used to saying that because I want my brand to stick inside your head. <laughs> but thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my videos if you are a returning viewer. If you are just stopping by, welcome to my page. I hope that the information that you will find here will help you in your candle making journey or your journey here in Canada or you know just anything that I've posted about Canva using Canva whatever it is so thank you so much for the support guys please remember to like subscribe and share this video if you think that it is useful to you yeah because if it's not useful don't like it don't share it right but anyways let's get into today's video today's video is going to be about making some concrete jars I'm gonna be making showing you guys how I make my concrete jars for my candles and I just want to add that I do take wholesale orders for these jars so if you are thinking about starting your journey with candle making and you don't want to make your own jars or I'll be offering these jars at a wholesale price if you are interested please visit the link below on my website and yeah, definitely reach out to me and we can come to a price there. They are listed on the website individually, but of course, we can talk a better price um, via email. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to get into making the jars. So for this, for making these jars, you're going to need a mold. I got this from Modern Craft Labs. Um, that's where I get my molds from. I have not tried anywhere else. I just really like the shape of these molds. And um, so today I'm going to be making our 15 ounce jar and our 8 ounce jar in this mold. And uh, we're going to be making some trinket dishes as well. So yeah, we have a bunch of things to make. I'm going to be making like a full set with these, right? So, the, so you're going to need your mold. You're going to need cement all. That's what I use because it dries. I don't know any other cement that dries as quickly as this one. So that dries really quick. And you're gonna need some stir sticks. You can just get these at your local craft store or you can get them in Dollarama. This is Dollarama is where I bought these. I find that things are a lot cheaper in Dollarama because it's a dollar store. <laughs> and you'll definitely need you some pigment powder if you're gonna use this method. We're gonna be using some pigment powders. I get my pigment powders from Direct All. I have made a ball with I've made about 40 jars from this set that I've gotten from Direct All. So it, it, it is worth it to buy. They have like a little sample package that you can, where you can order different colors, right? I haven't actually made any blue jars yet. I think I'm going to make something blue and gold. Blue and gold, guys. I'm going to make something blue and gold. I think that's going to go well together. So yeah, so today's set is going to be blue and gold. And do I have any blue paint? I don't think acrylic paint. So let's try making blue and gold with blue acrylic paint and direct all pigment powder. It's going to be a fun project, right? Yeah, so in that, so you need your paint and then you're also going to need titanium dioxide. Um, dioxide. This is not a moss but I do recommend it. I think it gives your jars a good finishing. It makes the colors pop a lot more. And yeah, I like it. I love this. I like it. Get get you some titanium dioxide. I got this off Amazon and uh, it was really affordable. And a little goes a long way because I've made, I've made quite a few jars from this one pound bag. And you see, I still have that much left in it. So we're gonna be using those are the ingredients that we're gonna eat and of course you need water you need some water I am NOT using distilled water guys I am using just regular tap water I started off using distilled water I tried tap water I ran out of that it doesn't make a difference to me I don't know why some people use distilled water but I'm using tap water and yeah we're gonna make some jars <music> So you're also going to need a mask and you're going to need some gloves because this thing, it can really dry out your skin and you want to make sure that your face is covered because you don't want to inhale all of this cement dust, right? But you know what I thought about when with that? 
you know when i watch guys on the construction construction sites i never see them wearing masks while they're mixing cement but anyways um of course it makes sense for you to cover your face right so yeah you definitely need some gloves and i always just keep some paper towel handy because you know if i get any spillage i just wipe it up real quick with that i have a spoon handy um this is really for my what did i use this spoon for because i think i have this there's a spoon in this that i use to take up my titanium dark side and um i'm gonna need you're gonna need gold paint as well i got this from michael's um yeah i got this gold paint from michael's i think i paid about 14 dollars for this bottle and yeah and then i i have some cups that i also use some disposable cups of course i could use this silicone cup but that's too much cleanup for me i like just just getting rid of the stuff types of blue paint i have this like neon blue color paint and then i also have this metallic blue paint so i'm thinking hmm I'm wondering if I should just use this metallic blue paint only or put both I think it's gonna look way better with this metallic blue paint like just a white jar with metallic blue paint right I think that's gonna look gorgeous actually and then I'll do a blue with gold right yeah I'm so confused right now but you know what with these jars and you know the candle making process as i'm always going to say there is a creative aspect to it you just have to let your creative juices flow and do what you feel it's gonna look best it's gonna come out to something right so in a cup i'm going to add some water to about this line here you see this line the line here in the cup that's what i'm gonna fill it up to so now I'm just going to add my pigment powder. Um, I'm not sure what happened to the audio here. So I'm really voicing over this section. Um, yeah, I'm adding my pigment powder to the water. And I'm just going to mix that out first a little bit. I see some people, a lot of people just add the pigment powder to the cement. Honestly, I don't know what the difference is. So I'm giving that a good stir until it's completely dissolved. And then I'm going to add a little bit of titanium dioxide to that. Make that... I really feel like if I had not added the titanium dioxide to this um, mixture, my jar would have come out a little bit darker in the blue with the blue color. But I, as I said, I think titanium dioxide gives your, your cement a good finishing. Like it feels firmer. It's just not cracking as much, not much bubbles in it. That's the difference that I have noticed with the ones that I have done. So I'm adding my cement and I'm basically doing like a three to one ratio with this. Um, but really and truly, you're going to mix it until it has the consistency similar to pancake butter. You don't want it to be too thick and you don't want it to be too runny either, too, you know, liquefied. So I added some more blue pigment powder because... For some reason, I just wasn't getting that blue color that I wanted, right? But yeah, we're going to be mixing this out until it reaches the consistency that we want it to. And you see, I'm adding more cement to the mixture. So yeah, this, if you don't have a good mixing arm, mm -mm, it's not for you. This isn't for you. But yeah, we're adding the gold paint now, guys. And with this part, you don't want to mix in the gold paint. You just want to swirl it around with your stir stick. And because you don't want to mix in the blue with the gold, you just want to have, this is how you're going to create the marble pattern, right? So you swirl it around a little bit. And when you're pouring into your mold, you give it another swirl. That's what I do in order to get like a little pattern. I don't think this is a, that part is a must, but I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it works better this way for me. Um, I'm adding some more gold paint because if you can see that I have already thrown off most of the gold <laughs> so i'm adding some more gold paint and i'm doing the same thing just giving it a swirl again and then going in again and doing that this this jar didn't come out with that much gold i would have honestly put more gold into it 
than I did. So I'm tapping on the side of sides of quartz. Make sure that you know all the cement mixture goes down into my mold, and then I'm gonna you know secure it with this thing that this thing comes with your um with your mold from Modern Craft Lab. It helps to like keep the shape of the jar, right? To ensure that the jar gets the shape that it's supposed to get. It, over over time, guys, these things they do kind of. They do kind of loosen so you can always like put a rubber band around it or something like that that's what i have to do with my other with the, with this one the um the eight inch jar so yeah so we're we're gonna be making the other one so this one is gonna be the one that's white with um with gold no not gold but blue this is one with you know white solid white jar with gold it's not gonna be completely white it's gonna be like off white I don't know how to get maybe i need to buy white cement so i can have like what really white jars i definitely need to do that so i'm going to be making that plus i'm going to make be making a trinket dish as well so i'm doing the same method but i'm adding the titanium dioxide first to my water and then i'm gonna mix that out until it's completely combined with the water and then i'm going to be adding my cement like i said a lot of people they do add the titanium dioxide and their um their color pigments to their cement but i find that this works better for me i'm not quite sure what the rationale is behind why they do it that way but this is how i do it i add my cement in gradually until it reaches the consistency that i i think is you know good it's the same thing because i'm using the same three to one ratio because on the on the, the, the cement box, the instruction, it tells you three to one, right? I'm doing the same thing, but it's just in a different way. I'm just adding cement to my water instead of water to my cement, right? So in doing this, sometimes you'll find that the cement is on top and then you might have a few lumps in, in there. You just have to take your time and go through and mix that cement out until um it's completely you know combined with the water right until it's smooth you want to make sure that the mixture is smooth because if you have too many lumps i've said in a previous videos video where i did some concrete jars if you, it's okay to have a few lumps because i found that it doesn't make much of a difference in terms of how it comes out like i'm not talking about any big lumps but like if you see like a little lump it's not anything to be too alarmed about but you don't want to have any big clumps of cement right because it just means that it's not completely mixed out so at this point now we're like my cement mixture below the one that i just put put into the cup is a little bit thicker right so now in order for me to combine everything i'm just basically like punching into <clears throat> punching into the cement to make sure that it goes down you know into the mixture so by doing that, it helps to combine the mixture a little bit easier. And I'm going to have some lumps right now at this point. But this is where your mixing hand is going to come in handy, <laughs> right? You have to make sure that you have a good mixing arm or else. I'm really thinking about getting one of those mixers because I don't, I'm, not, I'm not even sure if that will work. Sorry, I'm not even sure if that will work for this, but... I probably need to research and see if that will work but, but because like really this will be working my arms guys trust me it works my arms so yeah i'm mixing that in i think i'm still going to add some more cement to that so i've already done three scoops right but i still feel like it's not as thick as i would want it to be now i'm going to be adding a little bit more titanium dioxide to this mixture because it's just not as light as i would want it to be at some point here i'm gonna be adding that and then afterwards i will add my paint so yeah we're giving it a good mix until it's the consistency so i'm adding you know a little bit more cement to my mixture because like i said i just didn't think it was thick enough um you know you want to make sure that the integrity of your jars aren't compromised by you using too little cement in your mixtures right so i am basically just punching that cement in until it gets to the consistency a smoother consistency right
to this off list and let it work. I think I'm gonna be in love with this jar, guys. Ah, let's see. So like I said, you don't wanna get it mixed into your mixture. just gonna use this the rest of this mixture to make something else right because I have all these molds and I want to make something else like I said I want to make a set with this my little helper here with me again You're busy? Yes. I mean, I want to. So, let's see, guys. How did this come out? It's a four long hours. I don't know. I don't know. I know. And you know what? We're not going to know the exact color of these jars until maybe about tomorrow. It's fully dry. Like I said in one of my other videos. Uh, oh. Cement takes a while to dry, right? Wow. This one is the one with the metallic. Um the metallic um, blue. This is gorgeous. I like it. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Mm. It's gorgeous. Mm. See how blue this one is. How blue are you? How blue are you? It's be blue. This mold is so much harder to come out. So this is the next day guys. I gave them a few more hours to dry and that is how they are looking now. See that color has lightened up a lot more and I think this one is my favorite. That one's my favorite. My husband loves this one but for me personally I was hoping that the blue would have been a little bit brighter than that one than how that came out. I might have to try again but that is what they are looking like. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Let me know if you would actually try this method of creating your marble designs. Yeah, I could also, I think this cover could go with that as well, right? Yeah, but that's what they are looking like. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like content like this, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And I will catch you guys in another video. Bye.